so this came today my new lumber mill it's a pascal metal it's a lumber mill from canada in quebec or quebec in canada uh there's a few features that i like on it uh i had a norwood and there's a lot of things i didn't like about it this one for starters the reason why i bought this it's the only lumber mill that i'm aware of that has a solid piece for the frame so norwood woodmiser hudson um, they all have very small sections of carriage that you bolt together and try to get as level as possible the problem is your cuts of wood are only going to be as flat as the bed itself and no matter how hard i tried i could never get a norwood perfect the closest i got it was about a half an inch over 20 feet uh, this is 24 feet long and it's one solid piece so um, I took measurements and it's not even a 32nd of an inch difference across the full 24 feet so that's just incredible um, it also has a hydraulic lift so it's the hydraulic package right here uh, the theory would be you would roll the log on like that raise it up and then roll the log onto the log deck. It's also good for leveling out the mill. Uh, another thing that I like is this. To change the blades. Whoop. This is one solid piece. You can change the blades. Uh, it's got a cam action lever right here that's factory set for tension so there's no adjusting uh, the blade tension this is factory set you can change it if you want but this has the perfect tension for the blades this has a proprietary one stop go system um, when you throw this lever it engages the clutch and the blade spins when at the end of your cut, you take it off. Uh, this is a few things. It turns the water off automatically. It uh, disengages the blade. The blade stops spinning. Uh, and another thing I forgot, but uh, one stop go. This scale, it, no matter what lumber mill you have, Woodmiser, Norwood, Hudson, you should buy one of these that they make. It's the best. Uh, guide that are the scale that I can that I've ever seen uh, you can see these two lines that accounts for the curve of the blade uh, so you can do three quarter on this side this is one inch so you just put these two lines right in the middle for one inch or inch and a quarter or eighth quarter blah 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 all the way up to eight quarter which is four inch uh, another thing I like it's got an electric Uh, well, this should make the carriage go up and down. Uh, not sure why it's not. Hmm. I'll have to look and see why. Uh, Honda engine. So along this 24 foot deck, each post there are rollers. So you can put a log and roll it up and down this entire length. Really ingenious. It's got these levelers. Uh, there's four of these positioned throughout the saw. Um, one on each end, a couple in the middle on either side. Uh, so you can level a deck really quickly. Just a simple way to put your permanent rests. Uh, this pretty easy log dog rest uh this is for a square cant um and obviously this wouldn't you know this would be twisted out of the way when you raise this this little nub is for uh if you have a piece that's not quite perfect you'd adjust it until it is uh, really simple mechanism for tow boards something that's really awesome about this mill is there are four of these so you can mill two logs at the same time as long as the total length of the logs 
doesn't exceed 24 feet. So for example, you could have two 12 foot logs, you could have a six foot log and a 10 foot log, you know, whatever. Awesome cam lever action to hold the cant in place. Uh, when it's down this way, it's perfectly flat. When it's this way, it's at the perfect height to hold the cant against this so you can get a perfect one inch board. Actually, I think it'd go down to three quarters of an inch close to the frame. Freaking awesome. Um, what else do I like about it? I like everything about this mill. It's just a phenomenal mill. Um, just huge, 24 feet long. I could still easily pull it with a Sportsman 570. Uh, it's not too much for it at all. Um, this hydraulic jack right here to lift the logs up. Uh, even a 21 foot log, 20 foot log that can weigh, I don't know, 4,000, 5,000 pounds. This is way more jack than you even need for that. So that can lift a freaking tractor trailer. So I think we should be all set. Uh, right now the log lift, there's two legs, but you can extend it as much as you want. I could put a third one, fourth one, if I'm doing really long logs. Uh, I'll have to see why the freaking saw has not going up and down. I'm sure it's something I may have unplugged because it was going up and down earlier. Um, what's another thing I like about it? One thing that impresses me that I haven't seen with Norwood or Woodmiser was the way you can store this for towing. So when I take it on the road, I just un I just screw that in, and the whole mill is immobilized. Uh, no need to uh, no need to freaking take apart the carriage and put a bracket in like with Norwood. That was a that was just an engineering fail right there. But this is a really good easy way to do that. Why won't this freaking carriage head go up and down? Is that it? Aha! I guess that has to be on the on position. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. So, just to see how, so that's, that'd be at one inch right there. You can make such small adjustments to it. We're talking less than a 32nd of an inch adjustment. So all the way down, just a really awesome mill. Can't say enough good things about it. So yeah, I will do a lot of cutting uh, in the months to follow. And excited. Pascal, they are opening up a dealership, I believe, in Morrisville, Vermont. Uh, I don't know when, but uh, he literally dropped this mill off and headed off to Morrisville to talk to a dealer. I think like Pete's, Pete's equipment or something, I don't know. Uh, but I think they're going to try to work out a deal to distribute these. Highly recommend them. They're a lot cheaper than uh, Nord and Woodmiser, I think, because the uh, exchange rate between U.S. and Canada is pretty good right now. So I got this for... Uh, I sold my Norwood for, well, not only did I sell it for more than I paid for it, I also <laughs> bought this mill for uh, less than what I sold the Norwood for. So uh, I was looking at getting a fully hydraulic Norwood or Woodmiser. Um, wasn't happy about the bed situation with either of those companies. So I started Googling making my own carriage frame which is what the, the, the uh, sawmill rides on. I was just gonna weld my own frame out of you know 24 foot long stock, two by six steel, quarter inch or, or thicker. And in the process of putting together a list of steel for this, I somehow stumbled upon Pascal Metal. No idea 